What's up, YouTube? This is your girl, Chromatic Media Prophetess, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I am a prophetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what spirit tells me, the holy angels and the divine. And I'm going to do a reading for Aquarius. Aquarius, we have old news. We have Montana. Somebody could be from there or live there. It doesn't have to resonate or it may resonate. We have pray for me. Somebody's name can start with an O. We have I tried to play you. Somebody could be in their 40s. We have 48. We have angel number 999. That could be significant. We have let's spend the holiday together. I'm heavily here in Halloween or Christmas. We have a Asian. Somebody could be Asian or mixed breed. I'm hearing. We have 1111. That number could be significant. We have moving. I don't know why I'm hearing that song by Michael Jackson. I'm talking about the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. And I don't even know the words, so whatever. <laughs> we have illusions. We have I put up a front in front of my friends. We have I never meant to hurt you. You know you love me. Somebody could be an Aries. Somebody could be a Gemini or Dylan. I'm excuse me. Somebody could be dealing with an Aries or a Gemini. I've done black magic to keep you stuck. And again, if you're new to my channel, I don't just pull these messages out of my ass. I pull to spirit tell me to stop. We have Indian or Native American. Again, somebody could be mixed breed. Some Somebody could have Asiatic blood because I'm hearing uh, Magolian spots. We, we have love. We have, I will, will you answer my calls or texts, please? We have, you make me, you make more money than me. Somebody don't like that. We have a we have a spirit baby. Jealous envy. Death reborn. Picture magic. Uh oh. Somebody doing picture magic magic power couple. We have 36. And anything else, spirit, y'all killing me. Pennsylvania. Somebody could be from there or live there. Somebody could be from Indiana or live there. I still remember what you had on that day. Where did the love go? And ruthless, dangerous. And if you don't want to see me pull these, fast forward. We have soulmate. I'm sorry. I'm in love with my divine feminine. I don't take care of my kids. I'm not loyal. We have laughing. The grass is greener here. Weak men. And we have Biggie and Across the World. And you're way too classy for me. All right. Again, if you're new to my channel, I don't just be pulling these name messages out of my ass. I literally, I can literally feel spirits energy and I stop when they tell me to stop. So if you don't want to hear me pull these messages, please feel free to fast forward. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael. I ask you to see your greatest white light. Please give me clear and precise messages for Aquarius. Clear and precise messages for Aquarius. Aquarius. Again, somebody can live in Pennsylvania or be from there. I'm here in Philly. What's going on with my Aquarius? Somebody could be in their 30s, 36. Somebody's birthday could be on the 9th. What's going on with Aquarius? Whoever this person is, this is somebody that you were supposed to be a power couple with. Again, somebody can live in Indiana or be from Indiana. I still remember what you had on that day. Again, this is somebody that you you were supposed to be in a to be a power couple with. I'm not heavily hearing. What I'm hearing is this is not a twin. This is not a divine counterpart. Excuse me, you guys. <clears throat> What I'm hearing is, is this most definitely has to be a karmic soulmate, but there has been a death in the ending because this person is saying, I still remember what you had on that day. So I feel like there could have been some type of argument that took place in the past or recently. I'm hearing two to three days ago, and I feel like you've really moved on. I feel like somebody has changed their number. Somebody has blocked somebody on social media. You may have even moved, changed your locks or moved or, or moved to a different town. 
I'm hearing. I feel like whoever this person is, you don't want to deal with this person anymore because this person has always tried to keep you stuck. Though I am seeing this is somebody that you were supposed to live, have have a happy life with. I feel like whoever this masculine is, they're jealous of you because you make more money than them. And I'm not even necessarily just hearing you make more money than them. Money than them. You're rich in spirit. You have a really rich spirit. You're somebody that's a master manifester. This person is jealous of that. This is why this person tried to break you down so i'm hearing that god placed this person into your life for you guys to be i feel like let me take that back let me rephrase that god you god placed you you uh aquarius into this person's life so you guys can work together and become this power couple but this person ego is too big this person always tries to keep you stuck off in this hangman energy this person is also very jealous and envious of you and this person you had to let this person go i feel like you could have changed your number you could have changed your locks. You could be a YouTuber as well because it says I'm a YouTuber. You re you realize that this person was crazy. Or they could be saying they, they could have said you were crazy and the truth. I'm hearing the truth is being revealed about this person. I feel like every lie. Look, I can't make this up. This person is jealous and envious of you. Aquarius, I feel like every lie that this person tried to tell, everything that they've done to you has backfired and the, and the mask is falling off from this person. This person, how can you be jealous of a gift that came from God? I feel like some of you could be a divine feminine or a divine masculine because I'm hearing both genders here. Take what resonates, leave what don't. But I'm heavily hearing that I'm talking to a bunch of divine feminines, male or female, okay? But what I'm seeing here is, is that how can you be jealous and envious of a gift that came from God? God placed you into this person's life so you and this person could be a power couple. Look, I can't make this up. Come on, somebody. Look, I can't make this up. This person tried to play you. Not only play you, play off in your energy because they're jealous of you. They're jealous. They're envious. I feel like this person could have had narcissistic tendencies. I'm not going to say this person is a narcissist, full, a full-blown narcissist. Maybe they're not a narcissist. Maybe they could have had narcissistic traits. But I feel like there was a lot of crazy making in this relationship. A lot of crazy making. A lot of gaslighting. All because they were jealous and envious of you. I feel like this person has love for you, but they don't love you. It's a difference between loving somebody and caring about somebody. There's a difference between loving somebody and being in love with somebody. And this person had neither or a none. This person is jealous and envious of who you are. I'm hearing your spiritual gifts. I feel like this person tried to break you down. I feel like whoever this person was that was in your life, you couldn't grow anything. You could There was no growth within the relationship. There was no growth within yourself. So you had to move away. You had to block this person off and you had to come reborn. It's like being a born again Christian. You've been baptized. You've been changed. You've been cleansed. You've been reborn now. And I had to pause on that because I feel like I'm preaching. Can I get an amen? No. <laughs> but it's like. Come on now. There is a depth. You like, look, I feel like you're somebody that's a man, master manifester. You're somebody that's spiritually rich, spiritually abundant. Not only are you spiritually abundant, you're physically abundant. You're financially abundant. You're abundant. You give life. I feel like I feel like I'm talking to some divine feminines because I can see a sunflower in a rose in my head for some reason. I'm even hearing dandelions. I'm hearing, I'm hearing the rose from the concrete. You're somebody that's like a rose in a concrete. You're a diamond. I feel like because you were, because you wasn't in the grass, because you wasn't a flower in the grass, in, in the trees and, and, and stuff growing, and you was growing from the concrete, this person tried to break you down. This person thought that you would never do be anything, be anybody, because they're jealous of you. See, sometimes people, sometimes a person could be jealous and envious of you, Aquarius. Sometimes people can be so jealous and envious of you and they'll try to say, well, you ain't got nothing. You ain't got a pot to piss in. You ain't got a window to throw it out of. You ain't got nothing. Or even if you do got a roof over your head, even if you do live in a shack, even if you do live in a trailer park, at least you keep it clean. 
At least you take care of it. See, sometimes you ain't got to have nothing for somebody to be jealous and envious of you. Sometimes people is je jealous and envious, envious of your strength. Jealous and envious because they can't break you down, destroy you. Jealous and envious because every plan and plot that they tried to use to break you down didn't work. So that's why they gaslight you. That's, try that's why they try to make you feel like you crazy. But ain't nothing wrong with you, uh, Divine Feminine. You, you said, I got to walk on. How are you going to be jealous and envious of someone that God placed me into your life? God placed us in each other's lives for us to be a power couple. And like I said, you had to walk away and you've been reborn. Angel number 999 could be significant or you need to go look that up. This person, and I, when I say look up an angel number, please go look up that angel number. That's going to help you. Go on Google and type in angel number 999 and read what that's about. That's going to help you. You ain't got to. I ain't forcing you, but it's, it's your choice. Angel number 1044 could be significant 1045, 46, and 47. And no, when I call out angel numbers, I don't just be calling them out like a crazy person. I, that's what spirits say, say, and that's what I say. Angel number 1055 and 1056 could be significant. You f feel free to go look those up. This person is saying, will you answer my calls and texts, please? For what? This person is now this person is saying, I love you. I'm in love with you. But 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 but, but, but when you were some twigs in the concrete, listen to what I'm saying, because I hope I'm saying this clearly. Use discernment. This person didn't have love for you when you were some a piece of twig or a piece of dirt in the concrete. But now you've been this rose that's that that's, that's grown from the concrete and you've blossomed into a beautiful flower, a beautiful rose, a beautiful sunflower, a dandelion. That's what I'm hearing. You you rose from the concrete. You a rose in the concrete. And now this person saying, I love you. Will you answer my calls and texts, please? Again, this can resonate. You can have, I feel like I'm talking to somebody that's fair skinned. I'm talking to somebody that has, um, I'm hearing Egyptian DNA. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but I feel like I'm talking to somebody that's mixed breed. You have a Asiatic mixed breed, a uh, Native American. I'm hearing Mongolian spots. So if you have children, your children could have came out with Mongolian spots. And for those of you who do not know, Mongolian spots are like green spots. You know, when a baby is born and they have green spots, if your child was not born with green spots on them that look like bruises then most likely you don't have um Asi asiatic children most most asian asiatic people native american or whatever whatever type of asian you are children are born or you, you were most likely born as well if you have those type of children with mongolian spots go look that up I'm somebody as well that have uh, Native American in my blood, Navajo to be exact, and a bunch of other stuff. But my children were born with uh, <laughs> Mongolian spots. So you can resonate with that as well. This person done black magic to try to keep you stuck. This person did black magic to try to make you feel like you were crazy because they have their own insecurities. You could be dealing with a Gemini. I'm also hearing that this person is double minded. I'm also hearing that some of you could have met somebody that's very charismatic or you could be very charismatic. Geminis are very known to be charismatic people. You can have that in your chart as well. You could be dealing with an Aries as well. Now this person is saying, you know you love me. How? How 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 can I be in love with somebody who didn't accept their blessing? The, again, I'm going to say this. The quickest way to fail is to tell God your plan. How you going to slap God in the face? This person didn't take you, this person, excuse me, this person took you for granted. This person did not take you serious. Listen to what I'm saying, Aquarius. This person thought that you would never be anything, thought that you would never amount to anything. But, but deep down inside, this person knew that you would. This person knew who you were, but they listened to other people, friends and family and different things. And now you've blossomed, you've blossomed. You a rose that's grown from the concrete. Somebody could be 48. Somebody's birthday could be on the 4th or the 8th. Somebody could be in their 40s. Look, it says, I'm sorry. I'm in love with my divine feminine. Huh. The energy that I'm getting from this Aquarius, now this person wants to block everything and every energy off. I feel like this person has isolated themselves from friends and family and karmic lovers, people that they put over you, people, places and things that they put over you and saying that they're in love with their divine feminine. But it's too late. And I don't even feel like this person is, is, is your divine counterpart. This was somebody that you closed the karmic cycle out with. I'm hearing that song by Jojo. It's just a little too late, a little too long, and I can't wait. All the right things to say. You know it's just a little too late. Dang, 
man. I can't even think of the words of that damn song. You know it's just a little too late. It's just a little too late. Y'all, y'all go look up that song. And y'all know sometimes I sing. And I can't wait. All the right things to say. You know it's just a little too late. Yeah, it's too late. It's too late. You are a rose that's grown from the concrete. Listen to what I'm saying because I need somebody. I need somebody to hear me. Whoever this person was, Aquarius, they thought that you wasn't going to amount to anything. Now they saying, baby, 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 where did our love go? You threw it away. Baby, baby. They saying, don't leave me all by myself. Ooh, baby, baby. And I'm getting song downloads. This person is saying, where did all the love go? You threw it away. This person threw away their blessing from God. How you going to slap God in the face? This person was ruthless, dangerous, evil, conniving, cutthroat, didn't care. Threw you away like a piece of trash. But you are a rose that grew from the concrete. I can see this in my third eye. You like a little twig, a little piece of grass. At first, I feel like you started off as dirt, Aquarius. A little streak of dirt in the, in, the, in the crack of the concrete, in the crack of the road, in the crack of the street. But you kept working on yourself. It rained, it poured. You went through a storm. It rained, it poured. You went through so much, but slowly and surely... You started to grow. You started to evolve. And once you cut this person off, because I feel like you gave all your love, all your authentic love, your care, your nurture. You knew who you knew what the what the what the plan was, even if you didn't know what the plan was. And even if you didn't know what God wanted you to do, you loved unconditionally. And that's all that matters. And God wants us to love like him unconditionally. And you did that. But this person chose to be a devil in your life. Be ruthless, be envious, be dangerous. And once you cut your energy off, because I feel like this person tried to break you down. The reason why you 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 may have not had much or you may have not have been doing much is because they they're financially cursed. They're spiritually cursed. You're the one that's spiritually and financially abundant. And once you cut this person off, God spirit stepped in, the divine stepped in and was able to bless you. And now you this rose that grew from the concrete. I don't know, feel like, I don't know why I'm preaching, but I feel like I'm preaching. Can I get an amen? <laughs> this ain't your soulmate. This is a karmic soulmate and you close out a karmic cycle. Good job, Aquarius. This person name can start with an O. Your name can start with an O. You way too classy for this person. Because it says you're way too classy for me. This person knew that. This is why this person tried to break you down. But this person is soon discovering that you were their happiness. You were their peace, their joy, their everything. They took you for granted. Slap God in the face. You could be traveling across the world or you're going to be traveling across the world. I'm hearing God is going to take you to high places. Places you never even thought of. Places you would never think that you would ever be because you've done the work. And you are rose that grew from the concrete. And I feel like... And I know this may sound cliche or weird. Is that the word cliche? I don't even say that word. I really don't even know what they mean. And I'm not illiterate, but I don't know why I said that. But I feel like the whole world is going to see how beautiful you are. This flower, this, 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 who you've become, this plant, this plant, whatever the hell, the rose that grew from the concrete, the whole world is going to see who you are. This person, you can have children with this person. This person may not take care of their damn kids because they jealous of you. You could have moved on with somebody else. I'm hearing this person is very double-minded. They have a double personality. Now this person is saying, I never meant to hurt you. Come on. How can a jealous... If somebody is jealous and envious of you, of course you meant to hurt me. You wanted me stuck. To be honest, this person really wanted to play off in your energy and go manifest a life of abundance with other people, other things, other people, other places, whatever the hell. This person wanted to break you down, break you down and take and steal your energy to go manifest a life of abundance with somebody else. This person is actually an opportunist I'm picking up on. Yeah, this person, look, I can't make this up. This person puts on a facade, a front in front of their friends and family. But see, the difference between you and this person is you've done the work. You are a rose that grew up from the concrete. Okay? Please, whoever you are, 
I can't tell you what to do. We all got free will, but use discernment. I wouldn't go back to this person. This person puts up a front. This person has not healed. This person is still suffering from childhood wounds, Aquarius. This person needs to heal. This person still lives in illusions. This person wanted to keep you in an illusion and keep you stuck off in a hangman energy so you couldn't go nowhere, but you did. And good job, Aquarius. This person was never loyal to you. This person was not even loyal to themselves. This person is a nobody and tried to make you feel like a nobody. And I don't like calling people a nobody because who am I to judge? I'm not God. But hell, the way this person tried to be ruthless and dangerous and evil and jealous and envious and conniving in your life, you would think they would have some sense. Now, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. This person laughed at you. And this don't even have to be a romantic partner. But I feel like this person worked with groups and people and things to laugh at you, talk about you. But guess who laughing now? You a rose that grew from the concrete and you're going to be seen all over the world. And I don't know, you don't even have to be a star on TV or nothing like that. Hell, you might be put into a high position at your job. But just know you are a star, whether you work a nine to five or you a star on TV on, in Hollywood. God is going to put you. I'm hearing. This is what I'm hearing. God is making your enemies be your footstool. I hope I said that right. God is making your enemies be your footstool. So laugh now and cry later. Who laughing now? Ha, 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 ha. And I ain't trying to sound cheesy, but now laugh at that. Because that karma ain't no joke in it. Because you didn't, you, you, you didn't slap God in the face. Because, see, you thought the grass was greener somewhere else. But it ain't, though. I feel like whoever these people are, whether it's romantic partner, people, places, things, they tried to break you down because you was a piece of dirt. And I ain't calling you a piece of dirt, but you hadn't evolved yet. You hadn't grown yet. See, God hides his, his chosen ones. God hides his special people. He hide, he'll put you, he'll disguise you. And then boom. But see, God is waiting on you. You got to be the one that's willing to do the work. I don't know. Somebody could be still in this karmic relationship, this karmic cycle, or dealing with karmic friends, karmic family. Spirit is saying, walk away. I got something in store for you. Angel number 222 on the clock as I say this. Whoever this is, they're a weak man or a weak woman. They ain't even loyal to themselves. They stuck off in illusions. They've been put in illusions by people, places, things, friends, family. Live, living a facade because they thought the grass was greener somewhere else this person could have uh, somewhere else this person could have chose a karmic over you this person is suicidal because we have biggie here and for those of y'all who do not know what i mean biggie has a song it's called suicidal when i die fuck it i want to go to hell because i'm a piece of shit it ain't hard to fucking tell Dressed in black. I like black Tims and black hoodies. I don't know the words. I ain't no rapper, but I love Biggie. But I'm really a Pac fan. But Biggie, he was, he was, he was true. He was lyrical. But whoever this person is, they suicidal as hell. Now they saying, I'm sorry. I'm in love with my divine feminine. Telling their friends, their family, whoever the hell listen to the universe. I'm in love with my divine feminine. But you laughed at this divine feminine. This divine feminine wasn't good enough. This, la this divine feminine was a piece of dirt, a twig. The roots hadn't even came up yet. But now you a rose that's grown from the concrete. Now laugh now. Cry later, right? Who laughing now? You, you divine feminine, and this is old news. You probably didn't already, you probably already know this. You probably a high, a high priestess. You're intuitive. You already know what's going on. This is your confirmation, Aquarius. Somebody can live in Montana or be from there. Could resonate, doesn't have to resonate. Now this person wants your prayers. They want you to pray for them. And I feel like you could have been, you could be praying for this person. But I'm hearing spirit is saying you got free will. But I'm hearing you may need to pray for this person because this person could be, like I said, they in this biggie energy. When I die, fuck it, I want to go to hell because I'm a piece of shit. It ain't hard to fucking tell. Yeah. This person know they fucked up. This person may want to spend the holiday with you. They could be trying to reach out to you. I don't, I'm not telling you what to do. You got free will. But I'm hearing you could be somebody, again, that's of mixed breed. You could have a, a Mongolian children. You could be Asiatic. You could be Native American. Angel number 1111 could be significant. You could be seeing that. You may need to go look that up. Keep moving forward. 
keep moving forward, divine feminine or Aquarius, whoever I'm talking to. I feel like I'm talking to a divine fem divine feminines though. This person could be doing picture magic. I'm hearing this person could be cussing at your picture. Whoever these this person is, they're stalking you on social media. They could be cussing at your pictures. Yeah, this childish, yeah. This childish ass masculine here that wanted you heartbroken, that wanted you stuck. You are a rose. Look, this low vibrational ass masculine that you shown nothing but love to this karmic masculine here. Keep moving forward. I feel like you showed nothing but love to this person, but now you happy. You're the one laughing. And you have somebody coming in, a true counterpart, a true masculine that's coming in, male or female. This person was a devil in your life. This is why they, they're going through judgment. Now they want to be bothered with this angel, this balanced being. Now they want to be a power couple with this Ten of Pentacles. But you know it's just a little too late. It's just a little too late. This is sad because this person didn't want, did not want to grow. They did not want to change. They did not want to evolve. This person is childish and jealous and envious and spiteful and ruthless and dangerous and conniving. But you are a rose that grew from the concrete. And I'm out. And good job, Aquarius. Keep moving forward. Keep pushing. My name is the Comedic Medium Prophetess. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. If you would like to donate to my channel, my cash app is in the description box. If you would like to email me, ask me questions, my email is in the description box. Thank you.